Hello there guys and welcome back to the Q8 Pilot channel. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom pushback route using GCX Pro customizations options for Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are currently situated at Cancun International Airport and we're going to assume that we're now ready for pushback. We're going to go ahead and bring up the GSX menu. From the GSX menu, we're going to select Prepare for Pushback and Departure. And here is the pushback truck now, and the gear is being locked in preparation for pushback. Now the pushback truck is ready to push back out of the position. We are going to select the Quick Edit Pushback option number 4. The main concept behind creating a custom route for pushback is through the placement of waypoints in the taxiway. As you can see, we have waypoint 1, waypoint 2, and we have the aircraft facing to this position. There are a few commands that you will need to familiarize yourself with in order to create those custom routes. Those commands are as follows. The arrow keys on your keyboard will move the selected object. Left shift pressed will move it faster. Numpads 1 through 3 will rotate the selected object being an aircraft or a waypoint and keeping the left shift pressed will rotate it faster. F5 will remove a selected waypoint, F6 will insert a waypoint, F7 and F8 will rotate the selected um, waypoint fast snapped with a parking heading and F1 and F4 will cycle through the selected pushback endpoints and all the waypoints. So. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to delete everything that I've done in the previous video. So we're going to go ahead and click on F5 and delete waypoint 2. And then we're going to delete um, the waypoint 1 by selecting F5 as well. All right. So now we don't have any waypoints. And to insert a waypoint, we're going to use F6. F6 has created the first waypoint and it is now selected. To move it, we're going to use the arrow key with the left shift button pressed, like so. As you can see, I am now moving the first waypoint right here on the taxiway. We can move this waypoint a little to the back and right here, right over here, sounds like a good position for the aircraft. And now we're going to hit F6 again to create another waypoint. So here is F6 again, and now we can see that there is a second waypoint. And now we're going to move the second waypoint. We're going to select F4 to move the second waypoint. And uh, we're going to use shift, uh, again, left shift, and move the second waypoint to right about here. All right, so that's the second waypoint. Let's go back to our first waypoint and move it again. All right, we're gonna move it right here. So now we have two waypoints placed on the taxiway, but the aircraft position is not correct. We want the aircraft to point exactly on the taxiway facing taxiway Charlie for runway one, two, right. So we're gonna hit on F4, F4, and now we have the aircraft selected. Now we can move the aircraft just like we moved the waypoints with the left shift key pressed. As you can see, I can move the aircraft. Now I'm going to move the aircraft here. And now we can use numpads one through three to rotate the aircraft like so. Let's move it back and we'll move it back on the taxiway right here. And maybe we'll put it a little bit to the back right here. And now, as you can see, we have waypoint one waypoint two and the aircraft position perfectly aligned on the taxiway now we're going to hit enter to save this and push the aircraft let's go ahead and Editing say enter and now the pushback truck is going to follow exactly the route that we have created as you can see now we are moving towards waypoint one now the pushback truck is going to start to rotate. As you can see, it's going on the taxiway exactly where we created waypoint two. So it's heading now from waypoint one to waypoint two. 
and the aircraft is now facing taxiway Charlie for taxi to runway 1 to right. Once you create a custom pushback route at any airport, it will be saved and will be available to you the next time you are at the same gate from the pushback menu. I hope that this tutorial brings a lot more enjoyment to your experience with GCX Pro from FS Dream Team. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. And as usual, please do take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in and bye bye for now.